What's up guys? Today we're playing Mercenary Kings Reloaded and when I initially saw this game I didn't know how good it would be overall or how much depth would be to it. I thought it would just be a typical run and gun shooter which is fine for some people but at $20 I was hoping for more and well I was surprised because there's a lot to this game much more than I, I originally thought. Now we're gonna jump right in here and then we'll talk about it while we're playing. Uh, this does have four player as you can see here, four player co-op. You could even do online, up to four people there as well. This does also support single Joy-Con play, so you can do that as well. And it saves your characters, as you see, I have a couple characters that I have saved here. But you can see there's four different slots and people can just join the game if, if they want to. So we're gonna jump in with my guy here and uh, just kind of check it out. Now this is out on pretty much everything from what I can tell. It's out on the PS4, Xbox One, Steam, Vita, Switch, it's $19.99 currently on the respective uh, digital shops. So you can kind of go around and, and get it and, and uh, play it on any of the systems you want. Now, I did like that there was online, but when I first got in here, I was a little surprised that you have, it's almost like an RPG sorta, mixed with some pretty cool elements from other games which we'll go over, but you can kind of see the art style. Reminds me of, I think of Metal Slug. You'll have to let me know if, if that's what it kind of reminds you of as well. But as you play through the game, you get you get kind of new things to do. And what's cool is they have a crafting system for your weapons. You, of course, level up your rank, which is neat. And uh, you also do rescue missions for more people for your crew and everything. And uh, overall, I was a little surprised. You upgrade your armor, you upgrade your guns, and it has some pretty neat features with things like the reload, which kind of acts like Gears of War. So I have, I shoot and then I press R to reload. I'm using the pro controller and you stop it and you'll get different benefits depending on where you stop it. So if I stop it at that green mark, you have powered up bullets uh, for the next couple shots. So things like that are pretty cool. Now we're at our initial base camp where you can kind of walk around and we are going to take a mission and we're going to run it. So this is, I think will be pretty cool. So you go to your captain here and we kind of go in here and we can either talk to him about different things or we can go to our missions and you can see there's a lot of missions to pick from. I'm in recruit, so we're gonna go through and, and play a couple of the missions here. We can do the torture cabin, which is a rescue mission or the biologist, which is a rendezvous mission. Uh, I guess it, we'll go ahead and do the biologist and we'll Rendezvous with I assume a biologist talk to the biologist is the main objective and you're gonna see it's uh, and you have rewards so You have drop rates believe it or not probabilities for what you'll get which you actually use those to then advance your armor and weapons It's all crafting. It's kind of neat. So let's let's jump in here We'll confirm this mission which you can turn online on and people can jump in with you Or of course if you have split screen They can all jump in and you can see save their characters which is cool talk to our dispatch and we will start the mission and you're gonna see some pretty cool stuff when we jump in here. I like the art style. Again, it reminds me of, of uh, Metal Slug, which is great, because I, I like the Metal Slug art. Um, so here we are playing. We got a time limit at the top of 15 minutes. We gotta rush through this. Here's the infirmary. Sometimes there's stuff in there, sometimes there's not. And uh, there, so we have our enemies right here. Kind of shoot them and they fall over. Some of them, their head explodes and stuff. It's very over the top, as you can imagine. We have a, a knife. That is a, what is that? There we go, got it, okay. So we have a knife we can use on them like that, and they drop stuff. So in this case, he dropped steel. So great, we'll use the steel later. Uh, oop. And you do have a roll there. Oh, I dropped, I dropped the spikes. It also shows, I think this is kind of neat, of course. It shows the damage that you deal to some of these enemies right above their head. So you kind of tell you're getting either stronger or you're doing less damage. All right, so I picked up the C4 after I dropped something. And now we get to use the C4 on this wall. There we go, and we'll blow it up. Boom, all right. So we're in, we're gonna, work through here. You got a little roll that you can do, and sometimes they'll drop stuff, but again, it has kind of that over the top, like violence where they'll just explode as a sniper, we'll actually take him out too. You jump up here and take him out. I unfortunately haven't had a chance to play this multiplayer yet, mostly because I, I was playing this before it came out, and it's uh, sometimes a little difficult to coordinate that stuff with people who also got advanced copies of the game. Uh, and in this case, I'll have to kind of play it after the fact with people that have it. Uh, there we go, what do we have here? Brass, hmm. And we're, we have our map here, so we're gonna see where we're going. Um, you have doorways and everything. Uh, X, hmm. I think that's probably where I'm trying to go is that X over there. So we're gonna keep working up. And again, I, I like the, oh, okay. I, I still like the art style a lot. I think it's a lot of fun to have this kind of art style with, uh, with kind of the cartoony look. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff over here. Oh, more C4, nice. I assume I'm gonna need a lot of C4 for this mission. That's why they're giving me so much. I mean, I had to blow up a door already, but. I think the reload mechanic's good too. I, I liked it in Gears of War when it was kind of first around and you would try to reload and, and stop in the middle of battle to try to get better. Uh, oh, there we go. 
to get better, uh, like, ammo and everything. There we go. Got him. I like that Mega Man shield going on there. Oh, he's like, oh, okay. I can pretty much jump down and start shooting him. That eh, didn't work out as well as I would have liked it to. There we go. We got him. And he's not going to drop anything, I guess. We're going to go up here. So you have these ammo crates around, too, that rusty pin. I actually needed the rusty pin to build better armor. Uh, something else I need to do more of is build my armor up since I, I get hit a lot <laughs> in this game, which you do. And uh, they do a lot of damage. So here we go. We need that C4 again. We'll drop that and explode it. Nice. And you can see you have all these different things you can equip in the game, lead. So I, I ended up needing a lot of material, I'm starting to realize, for building up my uh, weapons and stuff. I, I upgraded my weapon once so far. So I upgraded to the Yager, I believe. Uh, let's see, here we're going. A little further this way. You have different caves that you can go in as well, I've noticed. Like, there are times where you're kind of pushing along. Oh, okay. What was that? Leather. Nice. I assume that's for, uh, for my armor as well. You have, like, these huts you can go to like this. A lot of times they had, like, enemies trapped, or, uh, allies trapped in here, or in this case, just, uh, there we go. More stuff to craft with. You end up just pretty much trying to get a lot of, uh, of stuff that you can then turn into better. See, his head exploded. Like, it's, like, over the top like that at times. I don't think I can, uh, maybe up from here. Oh, I see, I have to go up there and then I can jump down. Uh, so you end up getting a lot of parts that you use to then build up. So, yep, I can just kind of go up here and then I can make that jump to the left. And it also has another crate here. C4, okay, so they're giving me a lot of C4, man, jeez. And uh, we're gonna keep pushing up here. And another hut we can go into. Oh, that's the infirmary. So I've also noticed some of these infirmaries, probably all of them actually, all act as checkpoints as well. So if I die, it'll put me back at that infirmary. It seems like the only way you can really lose, I guess, is completely is if time runs out, I guess, because I've died if I died twice in one of the missions and I was able to still go right back. So these guys are kind of just cannon fodder. <laughs> they don't usually stand much of a chance, those guys don't. They just kind of run at you and you just take them out. It only takes like one shot to take them out, too. Some of them take a little more like him. Uh, so here we go. How much further are we going? I guess the X is where I need to go. Let me see. Push to the right here a bit. Ooh, okay. Got him. Nice. Oh, and I got that nice reload, too. Very good. C4. I have noticed that a lot of the missions end up being very similar. Like, a lot of times you either take out X amount of... Oh, we got him. Okay, cool. Take out X amount of... Let me make sure I got something there. Of enemies, right? Like, so you have certain enemies you have to take out. Or, uh, there we go. So we got him. All right, so that's the end of that. Or you have to rendezvous like this, or you have to save different people. So I did notice in one, I had to save a bunch of hostages, and like eight of them, and that was it. So I just kind of went around. And they show you on the map at least where to go, and uh, where different things are. Some new missions are unlocked now. My funds are up to about 2,000, as they see there. And then it tells you basically everything you did in the fastest time, even three minutes and 30 seconds. That's pretty quick. <laughs> Although I think if I knew where I'm going, and you're kind of just sprinting, you could pretty much do it. And then it has like these Metal Gear Solid style uh, cutscenes, which are pretty neat. So they kind of pull from a couple different games. Uh, from what I've seen, they kind of pull from Contra, they pull from Metal Slug, and they pull from Metal Gear so far. So I'm sure there may be a few others that I'm missing as well from the old days of the NES and Super Nintendo and even PlayStation 1. But so far, I'm, I'm enjoying my time with this game. And I think it would be a lot of fun to play uh, with, with friends as well. Because if you go up here... You can, well, like, for example, this, these guys let you change your banners and your ornament. You can craft all this stuff. So you can have, like, your own flag for, I guess, your country if you want. Uh, and then this person turns on the mode for offline or online. So you can play either offline, you can play online, uh, or you can play with friends and public. Or local. So it also has local wireless play as well for Switch users, two to four there. So there's a lot of options for co-op, which is great because this game definitely needed a co-op function, I think. It, it's it's definitely set up for that, right? Like you and a bunch of friends can play together uh, with this type of game and have a lot of fun. So I, I like that they added a lot of that. And uh, there, there's a lot to this game. I was surprised. Like I said, you actually have uh, experience for your characters where you kind of level up as you play through. You get better, well, you rank up, you get better weapons. So in this case, like I can come here and uh, you can buy supplies if you need them. There's a riot shield, which is kind of neat. Uh, let's see, adrenaline shot. There, revive yourself or one of your teammates. Uh, materials, you can buy materials. Like I said, the rusty pin and the scarlet pelt, I think are mostly for... We'll see. Upgrade armor, for example. So I can upgrade from 88 HP to 92, but I also need, I need four more leathers and I need two more 
uh, polymers, so I'm not close to that. But weapons you can uh, customize, so I have the Yager receiver there. And then you also get barrels that you can add uh, more power to, lowers your accuracy, it appears. And then you can also get magazines to increase your capacity, where I can have 30 instead of 8. Uh, the sight, I don't really have any sights yet, actually. Uh, stock, of course, increases your accuracy, but it makes the weight go, go up, whatever. I'm not really sure how what kind of effect that would have on it. Then ammunition you can upgrade as well. I guess as you get the stuff to make it. So I don't have the materials to make like the bird shot yet, which increases my power. And it seems ammo might be the best thing to do because it seems to, well, that lowers it, but it gives you an effect. Bird shot just gives you more power. That's good. But I need quite a bit more uh, polymer for that. Not much more lead. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of stuff you can kind of do in this game that really, I guess, keeps you playing, which is cool. So... I'm going to continue to play this just, just for fun. It, it seems like a cool little game to play. 20 bucks isn't bad, especially if you have friends that you can play with. So if you and like three others are going to get this, you guys can play online. I haven't seen anything currently about crossplay. So I, like, I would like to see this have crossplay between the PC, the Xbox, of course the PS4, but PS4 is doing its own thing. I did hear this also has cross-buy for the PS4 and Vita. So if you have uh, the Vita version, you have the PS4 version, or if you have the PS4 version, you have the Vita version. So pretty cool. I'm going to leave you guys with some handheld footage as usual so you can see how it plays there. I've been using the Pro Controller this whole time. Works great for me. So guys, if you want to check this out, it's Mercenary Kings Reloaded, 1999. It's out pretty much on all platforms today. So check it out. And uh, guys, I'll see you in the next video.